okay guys we've already talked about the campylobacter vector uh, introductory video now in this video we'll be talking about the campylobacter vector infection and whenever we are talking about infection of can uh, due to campylobacter vector so let me write infection due to campylobacter vector as this type of bacteria placed uh, or generally stays in our GI tract then this kind of infection are most of the time related with our gastrointestinal diseases gastrointestinal gastrointestinal diseases okay so these are the pretty pretty common examples of gastrointestinal diseases caused by uh, Campylobacter species. Now, usually, as they are GI tract uh, related microorganisms, they are pretty uh, easily found in contaminated food source as well as contaminated water source. Now, this food and water may contain this Campylobacter species. Now, as they are present in food and source, the possible way for the contamination to spread is via 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 food that means it is via 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 our uh, food processing uh, regions as well as they can also be transferred via respiratory tract so let me write they can be transferred via respiratory respiratory tract sorry okay so they can also be transferred via the respiratory tract okay and this kind of infection uh, is uh, can be spread using this contaminated food and water and a poor sanitation system right so these are the bad things about this because a poor sanitation system is also related with that and the type of infection caused is gastrointestinal diseases we have talked about it an example of this kind of diseases usually results in colitis so let me write colitis and all uh, different kinds of uh, abdominal region problems and the symptoms for this kind of disease the symptoms for this kind of or, or sometimes ulcers also ulcers also and this kind of disease the symptoms of the disease usually related with the diarrhea which is a bloody diarrhea bloody diarrhea okay and also it is related with vomiting and nausea and different kind of gastrointestinal distresses like like say uh, abdominal cramps abdominal cramps and also they are related with fever headache and so on so these are the different kinds of symptoms related with this campylobacter infection now in any case of this campylobacter infection this kind of bacteria as we know that these bacteria are having the mortality so they can move from one place to another place and another important thing is as they are living in the GI tracts uh, so they are having a very uh, they are having access to very less amount of oxygen they are made uh, like that so they are micro aerophilic that means they don't need that amount of oxygen for their survival they can survive in very very low oxygen content now as they survive in very low oxygen content and also they love to be in in the GI tract regions so uh, the the percentage the percentage of beneficial flora beneficial flora of GI tract is very very important right if we change the percentage uh, co concentration of the beneficial flora in the GI tract it will hamper and it will it will hamper them and as a result of that this kind of uh, pathogens will start to thrive so these things will occur eventually right so for that reason we need to be very careful about these things to, to regulate these things actually okay so in a sense that's about the infection and I hope that's helpful uh, and another important thing I must uh, I, I forget to talk talk about is that the type of infection that they are causing yeah, they are they are kind of mild infections and these infections can be fight uh, or can be fought very few uh, few days for example two to seven days will take to solve this kind of infections in body or not natural immune system is there to fight against it but most of the time the infection must uh, sometimes can be uh, what we can say merged with different infections or, or like infections like cholera and all these things okay so in those cases we need to be uh, careful about choosing our food source as well as our water in those cases okay 
so we need to purify these things and then take it and then we need to kill them using antibiotics now how you will kill them we will be discussing in the future video which is about the treatment